Hi guys, welcome back. How you all doing? I uh, hope you're all well. Um, so I wanted to come back on to show you a little thing I've been working on. Another sort of spooky one for Halloween, you know, spooky season. Um, so this is what I've made. Um, trying to keep it within the camera. It's a little witchy journal um, with some spooky bits in it. These papers are absolutely gorgeous. Um, can't remember who I got them from now. Um, it was someone on Etsy. Um, but yeah, absolutely loved these. Me being into like all my witchy stuff. Um, yeah, really, really loved these papers. So this is the front um and i've just kept it plain simple um i'm probably going to use this one for me so i didn't want to put bits and pieces all over the front of it um because i want to be able to just chuck it in and out of my bag so if it's got bits all over it then obviously it's going to get damaged and i don't think it really needed anything on it anyway the papers kind of speak for themselves they're so gorgeous so I've done that um side we got the crow on the back these were um these there's a paper kit um it's actually a journal kit um that's got some of these in it um but these ones were bought separately um i think she called them tarot cards but there's only like five of these that have got the actual names sort of across them so i just printed them out um, and then cut them down to size to go on there. And then obviously the ribbon closure. So, closes like that. And then that opens out that way. Again, another witchy picture on there. That's a beautiful one as well. And you've got, um, it comes with like uh, pockets and little tuck spaces and things, but I've just cut them down to fit how I wanted them to. And I just love these. It's like all the uh, dark blacks and greys with the pink flowers right up my alley. So this is just a little pocket space here. Um, and it has one of these cards in it. Just left it plain on the back. Beautiful picture. The pumpkins are a little sort of, I would say house, but it's more like a tiny little castle-y type thing in the back. Um, and then I made the bookmark with one of the witches on. That's just plain on the back as well. Um, and then we have a couple of cards tags sorry should i say no it's got writing paper on the back of it i actually printed the paper out separately i didn't print it straight onto the back and then stuck them together and cut them out because i wanted it to be a bit thicker so, um, and this gorgeous one here with like the cross on it i'm not too sure if that's supposed to be i think it is just a cross so I don't know if it's supposed to be like a sword or but I think it's a little cross thing with gorgeous flowers on. Again, it's got the lines on the back. And then this little one here. This was uh, just another one of the little card thingies. And I just folded it in half to make like a little booklet thing for that. And then, then we open up this side here. And in the back pocket, we've got pretty much the same. We've got that gorgeous one with the bird on and the skulls. That's plain on the back. And then another little witchy bookmark in there. Just slightly different pictures. You kind of have like a witch face in one way and then a witch face in the other way. Another tag, the cat and the skull. It's got lines on it, and another tag, the skull and the flowers, 
absolutely beautiful prints these are love them and then this one again is just one of the card thingies with the skulls on and then just folds it in half to make a little booklet thing there and then in the middle here we have the beautiful cat the black cat stunning picture and you open it out you've got the crow that side and then you've got the little cat here on this little flap I just made these little flaps so it holds all your papers in place and and a witch on the back of that one and then obviously just some the bird again on that one and then lots of writing space in here we've got the little tags off of her as well the little spooky tags shabby spooky tags i think they're called it has a grimoire and talisman on that one so that's that one and then that one folds over out of the way and then we've got the moth on this one beautiful picture really stunning and open that one out and it's got the skull on there with the flowers just love these prints so much you got the uh snake or what they would say serpent on that one and then again open that one out and it's got a picture on that side too one of the pumpkins and then again pages in here got incantations and elixir on them pages and then another one of the gorgeous skull prints on there and then that closes up like that and then i just put a couple of pictures on that side i've got the two vases with the flowers in so that's what else i have been making uh, and then all of these obviously just but these are absolutely gorgeous really really stunning pages love them uh, and just plonk all your bits and pieces in there that you want like so and then all these ones uh, back in this side one with the cat and one with the skulls and a little booklet on in there like so so yeah absolutely loved playing with this and seeing what I could create with the papers but um yeah as I said they're beautiful papers so I didn't need to decorate much because they kind of speak for themselves and then that one just closes over there and that one closes over there and then it's tied up again so yeah that's that one hope you like that um please 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 guys um if you could please leave a like um i'm not worried too much about comments even though they do help um but please leave a like you know leave a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new here and you enjoy what you're seeing then there's plenty more of these to make um yeah and i will see you guys again really soon thanks for watching Mwah. love to you all bye for now